Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk to you guys about LibreOffice Writer and explain what it's there for and how you can use it uh, in a very brief overview. So if you've never heard of LibreOffice uh, as a package, LibreOffice is an uh, office suite, and in this office suite it contains many different tools, LibreOffice Writer probably being the number one used tool, uh, for creating different kinds of documents in the office or for school are really many different kinds of applications that you would have throughout your life. Um, if you've already used Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office, there's a good chance you really already know most of uh, what's going on here. LibreOffice Writer is the direct competitor to Microsoft Word, which is part of the Microsoft Office package. And in both of these tools, you have uh, very similar functions. The general idea is that you're trying to create documents, which can be anything from an ebook to a school report to uh, documents that you would print out and sign in an office environment. You may later convert those documents to PDF. And you can see here it even has a button for exporting to PDF. But uh, in many cases, LibreOffice Writer is going to be the place where you start to format that document before you put it in a PDF format. Um, so in just very general terms, you can go in here and the one key word to actually describe LibreOffice Writer is a word processor. So with a word processor tool of any kind, uh, you want to be able to type out words, paragraphs, pages very easily. So by using keys like tab on your keyboard and just typing in uh, messages, we can do, uh, you know, just type some stuff in, is the greatest free office package out there on the market today. And it, it gives you extra tools for basically being able to write messages and format them in the way you want them. So. It's better than using something like uh, Notepad, notepad.exe, in order to organize things because you have all these extra tools which help you manipulate your document. For instance, if you want this text to be centered, you can go up here to the alignment tools on the toolbar, hit center horizontally. If you want it to be made uh, thicker, you can hit Control B with the text selected or you can click the bold button. You can also uh, Let's try creating a title. So you can make the font size very large. That's the size of your text. And you can change the font. Um, so for instance, I like to use this font, Chunk 5X. If you look at many of my recent thumbnails, that's the font I want to go with. Creating uh, spacing, basically new lines, is very simple. You would just hit Enter on your keyboard. Um, and you can move your text onto the next line. And I'm just demonstrating a lot of the tools here uh, because there are a lot of different ways you can use LibreOffice Writer to make it easier to actually um, write your documents. So sometimes you would want a header. That's text that goes at the start of every page or a footer. You can add those in pretty easily. So header, uh, insert menu, header and footer, header, default style becomes very easy. If we hit tab twice, we go over to the right side of the header. We can do something like Chris Tutorials. If you hit Control and Enter on your keyboard, it's going to create new pages. And you see on every new page that we have the header that pops up there at the top. Footers are the same way. They just end up at the bottom of your page. Uh, you can also control where text is allowed to be on your document. Um, ba basically, where can it end up? So if I move this over to the right, it's going to, or at least for that paragraph, I think the top one is for all text. Okay, maybe it's just the first line and then if you drag the bottom one that's for all text in the paragraph so we can keep moving uh, these little markers over there at the top to limit where text can start on our document and when uh, where it basically ends and it's kind of like setting up margins though uh, using these drag and drop tools are uh, specifically for the paragraph we have selected now if you want to control if for the entire document, we can go up to, I think that's format, page. And then here, uh, we go over to the page tab. And let's just add something huge, two inch 
or let's say 1.5 inch margins on all sides. And you can see in this little preview, the margin is the space between the edge and the page and where your actual document is allowed to be typed. So if we apply that, hit OK, you can see everything got moved really deep into the center. It gives us less space on the page, but in some cases you don't want your text to be so close to the edge. It's kind of how you're designing your document. You also have uh, templates. Um, so if we go manage templates, we can see some of them. Uh, templates for creating documents, and you can create your own templates in it as well. So uh, let's go ahead and try loading this up. And you can see with this, it's already gone things, created lines, uh, set everything up as a table basically for us to replace this information with whatever we need to type in. And then we can print out these documents by going to File Print, or we'll do Print Preview for here. And we can see how it would print out if we were to uh, basically send it to a printer or take it to a printing office and uh, print that document out. Um, let's see, what else can we mention here? So let's grab a new document really quick. Um, there's also useful tools like spell check and grammar. So if we misspell something like uh, apple with three Ps for some reason, you'll get a red line under it. You can right click it to get some autocorrect uh, opportunities or you can check the entire document by going up to tools, spelling and grammar. So here we'll suggest the new word and we can correct that. Um, you can also add in tables. So let's create a four, uh, four row by four column table right there, which we can type in information like name, price, date, vendor, or whatever. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, and if we actually put information into these tables, we can create pie charts. Now, uh, as I just did previously, there's uh, also a tool called LibreOffice Calc, which is probably the better tool for handling um, spreadsheets, for handling uh, tables and converting them into pie charts, because you can add all kinds of functions to those tables really easily. Um, but there's a lot of crossover between these tools. So I believe you can even import tables from, an, from a LibreOffice Calc document and pop them right into your Word document. So you can have uh, like a report typed up. So you have all these different paragraphs and then you also have a table inside of your document. Um, likewise, you can add images and you can add URL links, um, all kinds of useful stuff. So if there's anything to take away from this video, it's that uh, when you use LibreOffice Writer, it's to create well-formatted documents of pretty much any kind that's going to involve typing words in. Um, you would use LibreOffice Writer when you want to type up a document that you're going to print out, but you might not use it if you want to do something like use it in a presentation where you show it on your screen. That would be where you use uh, LibreOffice, uh, actually, what do they call that one? Um, in, in Microsoft Office, it's called uh, PowerPoint. Actually, we can just go to File New, and you can see the other types of uh, LibreOffice documents here. As I was mentioning, they're all kind of linked together. Uh, a LibreOffice presentation. Uh, that's not what the software is called, but that's what you create. Presentation documents, where you can show slides on screen. Surely you've probably seen that somewhere before, uh, either at school or in one of your office presentations. The spreadsheets in LibreOffice Calc drawings for uh, visual diagrams, uh, maybe for showing how a business structure or an app is supposed to work, uh, database files, um, well in, in that you can connect to database servers and you can also have local database files on your computer. And uh, yeah, there's more you can do in LibreOffice Writer, but not everything would go in here. But if you want to type up a document, a report, which could be uh, work-related, it could be a book, it could be uh, just typing up some messages for a friend or something like that, like copy and paste something in here, maybe you have a Facebook chat or Skype chat, LibreOffice Writer is a good place to format that. Um, and you'll get better results than if you use something like Notepad, because in Notepad uh, you really have no uh, very minimum tools for being able to organize how everything is laid out. So visually speaking, your documents will look 
much nicer if you create them and edit them within a tool like LibreOffice Writer or Microsoft Word. But LibreOffice Writer, once again, basically the free alternative to that. So um, hopefully I've given you a quick rundown about what LibreOffice Writer is for. If you're looking for more tutorials on how to actually do stuff within it, you can check my channel. I have, uh, I think, somewhere over a dozen tutorials on how to actually use it. Um, and hopefully this video has cleared up you know, some of the ideas about what the heck is LibreOffice for, more specifically what the heck is LibreOffice Writer for. So thank you guys for watching. I've been Chris, and I will see you guys in my future video content.